Some of you have spotted our little shed, so we're putting together a quick montage of how it got here and how Jordan improved it for our needs. Gonna head to my parents' house. They're gonna get rid of a roughly 10 by 10 shed. Need to go tear that apart, get on a trailer and get it out here. We need a spot to store some tools and materials, stuff we wanna leave out here, and that would be a perfect fit. Jordan, with the help of his dad, then reassembled the shed of the property. Now time to build the front wall. So what I'm going to do, cheaply, is buy cedar fence boards and I'll rip them in half on the table saw and it'll fill that gap. And my wife is a great painter and she can hide anything. You know what I mean? So that's what I'm counting on here. Fix my mistakes. You know what a painter does? Makes a bad carpenter look good. So we got the walls sighted. Uh, got the door set and got a small, what is that, bathroom style window just for light and some drafting, uh, some ventilation in there. Got some blocking in for the siding on the front of it. I think I need three sheets to get that done and should be looking pretty good. Well, got the front sided. At least it's all closed in and looks better. Wasn't a priority, but I wanted to get it done. It was just tacky and it was bugging me, so. Still need some trim. Man, look at the Thunder Boomers out there. Oh yeah. Lean to off of this side and sort of cover up kind of this area off to the side. We realized it provides really good shade over here. So I bought a few extra two by fours. I'm not gonna work on it tonight because that is on its way. Okay, moment of truth. Haven't test fit this yet, so. Ah oh, man, pretty good, except I missed one thing. Somehow it's about a half inch off of my bird's mouth cut. If you're looking on ideas or a how-to on how to do this, you can watch this first and learn how not to do this, <laughs> and then go find another video. <laughs> It actually tells you how to do it right. Because I'm just out here guessing, checking. Oh no, not a how-to video, Jordan. But we did want to share how to beef up a free shed for not a whole lot of dollars out of pocket. We are doing this entire build series with our end goal of living debt-free. So being resourceful with every step is going to be a very common theme.
You like riding dirt bikes? Yeah. How fast do you go? Fast. How fast? On medium. Got a bunch of things cleaned up in here. Take a look. So basically just added screws uh, for hanging tools up, but got a little workbench put in, some things organized. Still gonna add some more shelving in here. I just didn't have enough plywood to get anything else done. Yeah, got the lean-to finished up. Added a two by four in there to hold kind of a material stock up there under, this, under the roof. And that's a wrap. I'm gonna button up here, head home. Sunday afternoon, home get some dinner. Snow's coming. Might be the last board I put up today. First day and last board, might I add. I'm just using some eight penny ring shank nails, nothing fancy. Remember, it's just a shed, I have to tell myself. The trim isn't quite done yet and I haven't finished the paint job but boy golly thanks to Jordan's parents this shed has been so useful to have out there for storage during our build thanks for watching see you soon